Young people in India are struggling to find work. Those that have jobs often say salaries are too low. And that, in a nutshell, is the problem facing Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government ahead of upcoming state elections. India's economy is growing, but failing to create enough new jobs. Who can survive on $25 a month? We're forced to survive on this. We have to choose between buying gas, paying rent, or paying for our children's medical treatment. When we work in the field, we don't get any insurance or time off. The Indian economy is set to expand this year. It is in fact one of the fastest growing of any major country. But most growth is in the corporate or private sectors, which employ relatively few people in India. Union leaders here blame Prime Minister Modi's handling of the economy for rising jobless figures. The workers and farmers are the worst sufferers of the present policy regime. They are creating wealth, but their share in the wealth they are creating is continuously going down. They are trying to hand over the entire economy under the monopoly control of the big corporates. Modi's government has launched an employment drive and earmarked billions of dollars in incentives to attract investors, hoping to boost production and manufacturing jobs. But protest leaders want the prime minister to put an end to what many describe as runaway privatization. Inequality is one thing which is glaring uh, in our economy, particularly du during the lockdown. I mean, data tells you that uh, for the corporate sector, profits boomed, even though the sales dropped. And that happened because uh, there, there was a lot of retrenchment of workers, uh, the costs were falling for the corporations, which means those they were buying from, those costs were falling. So it's this section which has lost and it's that section which is protesting. His critics want more oversight of private companies, a minimum price on agricultural goods, and a minimum wage as well as loan waivers for the poorest. <laughs> Cost of living and unemployment are likely to be pressure points Modi's rivals use in this year's state elections. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera.